Oh, you are not walking the field. I'm working. Wait. Move. Try to pick up some taters. Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to episode number three here on the Polish map. You guys seem to be enjoying this, so we're going to carry on once again. We're aiming for hopefully episode 10, maybe even beyond that if you guys are still enjoying it. But today we've got something quite interesting in store, so we're going to be harvesting some potatoes, but we're going to be using some different equipment to what we're used to here on Farming Simulator 17. So with that said, let's go ahead and... Uh, walk through here. So we're going to be using the Zetor today, or Zetor, whatever you want to call it. We're using this today. This is the 7245, and we need to attach this little bad boy here. So this is a potato topper. We're going to be using that first, and the other bit, bit of it is over there. We'll get that in a second. So let's line ourselves up here. We'll uh, open the door. In fact, I think we can open the stuff from out here as well. Yes, we can. Cool. So jump into the tractor. We'll get the head tracking on. That's probably going to need a reset. There we go. Get it cranked over like that. Whoa! Drive. Hand throttle was on then. <laughs> that could have ended up quite bad. But there we go. That's better. So I have the Brody knob back on now. As you guys may remember, the last episode I forgot to put it on, so it's a little bit hard going around the, the curves and stuff. Move it the way, chicken. Right, let's get this on first of all. Now, I have tested this off camera to see if we had enough horsepower. We do, but it's a little bit slow. But we can live with that. We can live with that. Um, how do we open this rear window? There we go. Let's get that open here. Super chickens, coming through. There's a floating chicken there, we'll ignore that. Coming through. So there is the other part. This is the uh, the actual harvester part of uh, the potato harvester today. So we're going to be topping and harvesting at the same time. Now technically we probably could have done one at a time. But um, let's just line this up real quick. There we go. Let's quickly jump out. Get this all hooked up. We won't put the PTO on just yet. We'll do that when we get to the field. Just uh to save up on turning and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, let's crack into this. So, how are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Um, are we actually going to be able to get around this corner? I left the door open. Well done, Simulate. Thank you. Let's get it turned off. Let's go around here. Awesome, so we're around there. So where is the potato field? That's the one thing. Uh, we do also need to unload the harvest. The officer is over there waiting for us. So what I'll do actually is I'll take this to the field. Um, and then we'll uh, quickly unload that. Give us a little bit of extra cash. And uh, we'll crack on with the potato harvesting. So once again, hope you guys are well. Sorry I haven't uploaded a couple of days. Once again, same excuse as usual. I've been working, real life work. YouTube's not my job for those of you that are new to the channel. Uh, here is one of the potato fields. Or well, maybe this is the only potato field. Now, I'm trying to think what's the best way to do this. I'm thinking we're going to go along the bottom first. Reverse. Basically, I don't want to ride over the potatoes. That would be pointless. Um, I'm not really sure how to do potatoes. I would love it if you guys could tell me in the comment section how to do these properly. Because I have no idea. But um, like I said, we need some room to turn around. So this actually bottom bit is not going to be that bad. It's the top bit that's going to be a bit of an issue. So um, what we're going to do is actually drive up to the top. We'll start harvesting the top so we can... Oh gosh, we just crashed. Ignore that. Ignore that. <clears throat> I don't actually know how long this thing is. There's no 3D perception on this game. Right, go. Power! In fact, I don't think that's the tree we're stuck on. I think it's an invisible collision. So we weren't actually touching it then. We're through. Let's get a four-wheel drive back off here. So yeah, I don't want to be driving, of course, over the, uh, over the crop. So we're going to probably go like this inwards um try to think what's the best way to do this we're going to be driving over the crop regardless but uh we'll leave this here i'll quickly need to buy a trailer so this was recommended to me by some guys in the comment section last time it is this one here the good old lizard 6000 liter tipper so it's only an extra thousand liters but it's a proper one and we'll get uh, the normal reflectors chrome emsland oh we get the chrome emsland that reminds me of fs13 that one uh didem Welga, we got Yel Welga Baylor, Welga White. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go for the Chrome Emson. That's the one I remember the most. Uh, bale trailer. We could have bale trailers and high boards. Oh, should we get the high boards? Should we get the high boards? We'll get the high boards. It's gonna cost us three thousand two hundred fifty pounds. We've got more than enough money. It's still in pounds um, because we're still playing West Coast at the same time. I'm not really sure what currency they have in uh, Poland. I don't think it's in the game. I mean, sorry. It might be, but I'm not sure. Um, so we'll jump out of here and we'll go through to our one of our other tractors. Okay, so of course we're going to be using the um, 
the Valmet today because we don't need the tracks. We're not doing anything seriously muddy or anything like that. Right, so this thing should be on the grass field next to us, I think. The question is, what way is it? I think it's this way. Yes, it is. So this is this map's only one road. Um, I get lost quite a lot, which is a bit weird. Whoa, you alright, buddy? See you every episode. How you doing? Still out. Here's our trailer. So this is the one that you guys told me to get. Probably could have gone for a different brand. I don't know if they have chrome in uh, Poland. But there we go. Also, there seems to be a lot of hate towards this tractor. Because apparently it's not very Polish. Um, however, I love this tractor. So we're going to carry on using it. Just pretend we got it imported. I mean, it's not very unrealistic that we could have got it imported. Some people do do stuff like that in real life. Does this thing have doors? Has this thing not got IC? It does have IC. I just had... To have it selected. There we go. Thought it did. We'll get this hooked up there and we're ready to go. So it's actually quite a big trailer. I didn't think it was going to be this big, but it's quite ghetto. I think you guys may remember this one from FS13. I think it was a slightly different color, but it was definitely a chrome Emsland. Um, let's get that turned off like that. Uh, oh, we got a manual ignition in here? We do. There's a couple of stuff I've not actually played with here. What's that? Let's actually look at this a minute. Uh, so we've got a beacon light. We can turn that on if we want. Uh, front working lights. Working light rear and radiator blind? No idea what that is. No idea what that is. We'll play around with that off camera, I think. And I'll get it all working for the next video. See, I'm not going to bother bailing this today, of course, because we did bailing in the last episode. I may do it in a live stream because I haven't actually live streamed this map just yet. And of course, this video is going out on Monday, so possibly tonight we'll uh, be streaming this. Actually, let me know in the comment section if you're watching this on the Monday it got released, if you want me to stream. Gold Rush or Farm Sims, because you'll have a couple of hours for me to decide. Um, that's if I do stream. Hopefully I don't get called into work. There we go. We'll unload that. It's very bouncy along here. I think that's the uh, Terrain Response mod doing that. There we go. That's filling up nicely here. So, for those of you wondering, let me just get off the road a little bit here. So it's a little bit safer. We'll get that up into the air just in case cars come past. And we'll leave that unloading. So, um, this here we've not missed. This is actually wheat, as you can see. Um, for some reason, there was wheat at the edge of the field, but the actual crop was out, as you can see there in the bottom uh, right-hand side of the screen there. So this didn't collect because it was a completely different crop. But there we go, that's still unloading. So we'll get that... Hope It looks like it's actually going through. I don't think it is, though. Um, so we'll get that at the end of the video. We'll get a few extra uh, pound for that, or whatever the currency is here in Poland. Uh, we'll, so we're going to try this now, finally. Oh, this is going to go terrible. I'm going to get so much hate in the comment sections for this, but I'll do my best. I just can't work out proper way how to do this. This is where real life experience would uh, come in handy. But, let's go ahead and first of all switch to the back. We'll get this thing unfolded here. Which way is folded? I have no idea. Uh, there we go, that's unfolded. I think it's ready to go actually. There we go, lower it down. It's turned on now. So yeah, we're going to probably do about two rows at the top here. Uh, we're probably going to go into some of our grain, but that's fine. So we got Billy Bob on the back of the working there. Not really sure what he's doing, but if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, I've never seen one of these in real life. This is not what we get in the UK, or at least it's very rare if we do one of these. So bad thing is about this, I don't think we're going to do it in one video because it's we're doing uh, one single row at a time. And I mean one single row at a time. So although we're topping about, what's that, three or four? We're actually only harvesting a couple of them, so uh, it's going to be interesting regardless. Right, there we go, we'll turn into our next one here. This might be enough, actually. This might be enough, then we'll hopefully start going up and down the field. I just want to, like I said, give us a bit more of a headland here to work with. Is that working? I think... No, it's not. We've collected hardly any potatoes. Hardly any at all. Although it is filling up, so we must be doing something. So yeah, this top bit's probably completely wrong. Please let me know. Instead of saying you're rubbish, you don't know what you're doing, you should be playing this game. So let me know. Let me know how to do it next time, and uh, hopefully next time will be better. We'll quickly collect these before we complete this drone. So we can see where the potatoes are. It's just we're collecting one row at a time, which is not ideal. So it's going to take a long while to get used to this thing. Although it is collecting slowly, but surely, I think. Yes, it is. Cool. So that should do that. I think I'm going to do one more row here. Just one more. And uh, we'll start our passes. 
Right, get ready. So we're finally ready to start our proper passes here now. So it's a bit wobbly. That is the, once again, the terrain response wall. It doesn't seem to like this map for some reason. But we are now working on doing our proper passes now. So at the bottom, like I said, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to use the road to turn around. Um, it's not a very busy area. I think we're in some sort of, like, village of some sort. Um, but, like I said, we are only picking up one row of potatoes at a time. So it looks like we're doing three. We're actually not. So... We're just topping three, and then we have to go back and do the other row of potatoes, basically. So I'm probably actually going to see if I can set up GPS. Let's see what GPS makes of this. So that's actually doing the topper, um, which isn't great. There we go. Try that. Now, this tractor wouldn't have GPS. We're not going to turn it on. I'm just using it as a reference, as you guys will see here, because it's quite hard to judge where you're going when uh, you can't really see 3D, like you would in real life. But no, I'll tell you what. We'll turn it off. I'll try and be as realistic as possible. That's the whole point in this series. We're doing things old school, so ignore the GPS. We won't do that at all. That never happened. Yeah, as you can see, you can kind of see if I zoom the camera out a little bit here. Um, in fact, we're not even getting that one, though. You have to be really precise with this thing. Um, I think the pickups... I would assume the pickups in the middle. That's what I've been aiming for. Yeah, it is. Okay. So directly in the middle, there's the pickup. So as you can see, it's working away there. The little white or silver wheel there. There we go. So now let's get up onto the road here. Like so. We'll get that lift up. For some reason this doesn't want to lift up. It doesn't work for the side panel for some reason. Right, let's reverse down to here. So now we're going to go back up and collect the potatoes with us. Now as you can see, we missed quite a lot, which is not ideal. Um, in fact, tell you what, let's get that down and go. Just saves us time in a minute. What are we stuck on now? Oh, it's that thing. Dang it. It's a very claustrophobic map. What we need to do then is come out and then in, I think. So, I'm a bit worried that we're not actually picking up anything here. Are we? Let's quickly zoom the camera back a little bit. Okay, yes, we are. So, basically, we need to get the row of potatoes directly down the middle of the bonnet, or else we're not going to be able to pick up anything. So, like I said, not a very convenient way of doing this, but this is the best way I could think of doing it that suited the map. They may not even do this in Poland. This may be a lot more old school than what they do in Poland. If you guys know, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. But it looks like we have actually done this whole row now. So now we need to go back up to the top, turn around. I think the worst part about this is doing the three-point turns at the top, if I'm being honest. I think that's the worst bit. So we've still got some odd potatoes here. We'll get them at the end. We'll do like a little sweep at the end to make sure we got them all. Basically, when we get to the top, what we're going to do uh, to make it a little bit easier for ourselves is just go down to the opposite end of the field like this. And then uh, hopefully, this is going to help us a little bit. So I want to actually line ourselves up with the edge here. So technically half of the, uh, the topper is off, but at least now we're actually picking up potatoes because you have to be really, really precise on this thing. So it doesn't look like we're picking up any, which is worrying. Oh, well, we are picking up some. Slowly but surely, we're picking up some. So as you can see in the bottom right corner, we're literally picking up one potato at a time. Like I said, not ideal, but um, it's the best thing I could think that could suit the map, basically. Are we going to miss this tree? Yes, we are. Cool. Whoa, I didn't see that there. There's literally a mass right in front of us. I didn't even see it. Oh, gosh. Let's get the top of lifted up here. We right there. Awesome. So I'm going to leave the, uh, the topper up now as we go in just into a pickup pass. So now we're aiming for this row of potatoes here. Where are you? I don't walk in the field. I'm working. Wait. Move. Try and pick up some taters. Right, okay, so as we approach 100% here on the first load... Oh, speaking of which, there it goes. So we're going to go ahead and reverse here a little bit. Just to make sure we didn't miss any. He's dumping the last load into there. Right, let's get this unfolded like that. And where did we put the... Here it is. Here's the Volmer. So we've got 3,000 uh, 3, litres of, um, of oats here. So we're going to quickly sell this, and then we'll use this jailer here to also put the potatoes in. So we're quickly going to rush down... Are you going to make that? Come on. No. If I carried on then, I would have hit it. So I'm going to 
come out a little bit. That's better. Right, swing round. So there we go. We're going to use this trailer here to... Um, oh, I need to run over a cat then. You see that? Uh, so yeah, we're going to use this trailer here to uh, put the potatoes in as well. So we're actually... Here, that guy there, he needs counselling. So we're not going to go too far after. There's the, uh, the harvester. And this is where we sell. So we had trouble with this last time, if you guys remember. It's a little bit funky to sell this. Here's the, uh, the guy who owns the sell point, I believe. Right, let's come up here. Now, the trailer got stuck last time. Hopefully that's not going to happen again. If we actually aim for the ramps, we should be fine. Stop. Can't remember what the sell button is. This one, this one, this one. Something's wrong with my side panel. It doesn't seem to be working lately. Uh, so we're using the green door for some reason. I'll allow it for now because it's going pretty fast. There we go. There's uh, £2,120 or whatever the currency is in Poland. Once again, I completely forgot. Spin around here. Awesome. So now we're going to use this. Cheers, buddy. Now we're going to use this for the uh, potatoes. And we'll see how much we get in from one load. So I forgot how actual fully, like how many potatoes are in here? I can't remember. Hopefully we can get them all into this one trailer though. I need to l put the uh, front loader down here so we can creep underneath this. Right. How's it going here? Is it going to work? Yes, it is working. Cool. Slowly but surely. So unload these potatoes. I'm actually going to get out and have a little look around us. But this happens. Oh, I can't jump because the tractor's got IC. Dang it. <laughs> Right, so we've still got Billy Bob up there, ready to work away. Can we get up here with you? Yes. So I'm really sure what he's doing. Maybe he's getting rid of all the dud ones and all the, like, the vegetation and stuff and just putting just the potatoes into here. That's probably what's going on. Okay, so it's now fully unloaded. So we're going to go ahead and move the, the Valmo away real quick. The Valmet, however you want to pronounce it. We'll get this move out of the way. So we've got 1,500 litres of potatoes in here. Not too much. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to sell these directly or um, store them first and then wait until the price goes up. And I'm not really sure just yet. But let's quickly get this uh, Zettel cranked back up. All right, we'll go ahead press B, V. Ready to go back there, Billy Bob? Oh, has he disappeared? Oh, God, we've lost Billy Bob. Billy Bob's broken. He's now inverted. I'm not sure how that happened. But we'll allow it. Never mind, we don't really need him. Oh, is this working? I believe so. So I'm really still not 100% sure what we're actually aiming for here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it's just going to be a very, very, very long, painful process. What are we stuck on? Oh, it's because the pipe's out. Dang it. Put that back in. There we go. Oh, maybe that's why Billy Bob wasn't showing up. No, nope, he's definitely broke. Never mind, we don't need him. So we'll get this... Turned back up. Why were the controls suddenly inverted? Right, so we need to carry on topping just the edge here that we've missed, as you can see here. Is it working? I believe so. Are we collecting potatoes? Yes, we are. Very slowly. So as I was saying before we uh, realised that Billy Bob was gone, um, it's going to be a very, very long, painful process for me to do these like this. But uh, it must be done. Try get these done before the live stream if we're on this map because this will not make good live stream footage. I think we're done here. Go down the next pass. Now, are we going down? Okay, we're going to get the topper lifted up here because we're actually going to go down one that's already been topped. And hopefully, cut, collect this roll here. It appears like it's working. No, it's not. Okay, now it's working. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what we're aiming for. I thought it was right down the middle, but apparently not, because that's the middle. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, we just have to keep going back and forward until it's eventually done. I might actually come and top these first, if I'm being honest. It might be a bit easier if we top these first. Um, not sure how realistic that is. But as you can see, this is a bit of a pain in the bum bum to do this. Like that. Right, okay, buddy. So I've decided that uh, we're actually going to leave the harvester here real quick. Now, the reason for that is because... Like I said, I don't really know where we're aiming. This tra tractor's not that powerful, so I'm not sure how realistic it would be to do it this way. But uh, I want to actually top these first of all, and then we'll start harvesting them, just so we can see roughly where we're going. Um, shouldn't take too long, because we're doing actually three rows at a time now. So we should start seeing ourselves a lot quicker than there. Uh, before, as you can see, we're doing some progress here. I think we're going a little bit too fast, actually. Let's go ahead and bring that down to about... 
about six miles an hour. That should do. Maybe five. We'll do five. So we'll top these. As you can see, we're missing loads where the vegetation has been getting in the way. So I'm thinking by topping these first, we should be okay. Let's actually get that into reverse minute. Get that topper lifted up. And back down. Cool. Back down this way. So yeah, this is going to be going out on Monday morning, like I said earlier. Um, hopefully you guys are watching this on Monday morning anyway. Uh, so I hopefully touch wood going to be live streaming on Monday evening at 7pm UK time. So make sure you tune in uh, if you're around. But uh, I don't know if we're going to be on this map or not. I don't really know what there is to do on this map, if I'm being honest, apart from finishing this off. And this is going to take a long time. And I don't think it's going to make very good um, stream content. Because you'll just be seeing me go, go up and down the field a million times. And i got to concentrate so much that... Uh, we we'll have to go around that. We'll have to come back to you. We we'll have to come back to this bit. We've we'll left the thing in the way. Okay, so now we've got to go through a puddle. This is going to be interesting. Oh, that man keeps getting in the way. You're right. You're struggling to find your house. There's only about four around here. Right, we've we'll got up here. Oh, look at that. We just went through a mud puddle. Now it's filthy. So yeah, as I'm saying, I'm not sure what map we're going to be live streaming. Probably the West Coast, although I'm going to see what else. I might I'm I'm attempt... Bleh. I'm tempted to stream Gold Rush, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm tempted to stream Gold Rush. So I've not actually got any videos out of that yet. Uh, people have been asking if I have it. I do have it. Um, I had the uh, the beta version of it for testing. That got sent to me by Playway. But, like I said, I've not actually got around to doing any videos on it just yet. I was waiting so I can learn to use it properly. And then I was working and stuff, so it's not been a good time for me with the uh, the Gold Rush stuff. I seem like I've missed the uh, thing. Um, people have been asking for if I'm doing real farm. I think it's a little bit too late for that now. I think the real farm content's already out and it's sort of died in the water a little bit. But, um, yeah, I don't know about real farm. On Gold Rush, more than likely at some point there'll be videos on it. Um, real farm, probably not so much, if I'm being honest with you. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll uh, see you guys in Jiffy. Right, okay, everybody, so we've now finished topping this whole field, as you can see here. So uh, we can finally hopefully see what we're doing now. So I'm going to quickly take this over here. We'll dump it off pr probably about here, actually. We'll just put it in the side for now. Let's get that disconnected. Uh, we want to get this potato harvester hooked back up. So I'm not going to finish doing all this in this video because it would be very, very repetitive for you guys. Just basically checking in to show you guys what we're doing as a one row at a time. So hopefully now... We should actually be able to see where we're going properly. Because it's a little bit hard when we start all the, uh, the vegetation stuff on there. Let's get that hooked up. Turn this around. I think I may just put that topper in the way. No, we're good. Just missed it. Right. Turn that on. And we'll see how we get on with this now. So, once again, I'm still not exactly sure what we're aiming for. I think it may be slightly broken, because it is in the middle. Like, we have eyes, we can see it's in the middle. But it's still not always picking them up, which is annoying. Although it is working pretty well now. So, I'll probably do this last row, and then we'll crack on and say, oh, I need to get all these fields harvested. That's the thing. All of these fields are ours, and they all need harvesting. So, I need to jump back into the, uh, the bison in a minute. It's not, see, it's not doing anything now. What the hell? Oh, I have no idea how to use this thing. Got to be honest, it's going to take a long, long time to do this. Made to save it for the live stream, just so you guys can help me. Um, tell me what I'm doing wrong and stuff. Right up here. Like so. Awesome. So that's basically what I'm going to continue on with now. But for now, let's quickly jump ahead into the bison here get her hooked up and all that good stuff lift the header up oh god the pipe's out as well we need to get that in so what field should we do next all well, that warms up we'll quickly check this so we've got canola here corn we can't do we can't do the corn just yet i'll say that for another video um what's this over here this looks like barley that's wheat oh rye we got rye as well tell you what Let's do some rye. We're doing some different crops here, so we've got oats and rye on this map. So we'll quickly jump up into here. 
And uh, we'll make a start on the rye then, I suppose. So this has got some very different crops on this map. I didn't even realise we had all these until the other day, which is interesting. Got some grass here as well to do. I'm going to be doing grass in probably the next video, so stay tuned for that. Right, here we go. We'll jump into this. We'll make a start. I love this combine. There's something about this combine that I really like. I think it's the steer wheel. Like, I can be sold on things just by the steer wheel. I don't know why. I'm a little bit weird. You guys need to realise this. So it looks a bit upside down, this steering wheel, but um, it seems to be working pretty well, actually, this combine. Once again, thank you to whoever suggested this combine to me. Much, much better than the fire that we had in episode number one. Go around this way. Just tap the tree just a little bit there. So we've got quite a lot of corn, actually. So how are we can do this? I think we're going to have to use that horrible Max 5 thing that we got that's in-game. Like the, the trailed corn harvester. I think we might have to use that. Right, let's get this header lifted up here. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is do something a little bit different. Because we've got hardly any room to work with, there's a huge rock at the edge of the field. We're going to turn this way into our grass field and go in like this. We're going to do a couple of uh, passes at the top here. So we have headland to turn around in. Right, let's drop that down. And we will proceed. So I've actually come up with an idea. I'm not going to say anything just yet in case I don't end up doing it. But after this little mini series has ended, I think I know what I'm going to do. I think. Not 100% just yet, but I think. Um, some of you may like it, some of you may not like it. It's going to be quite nostalgic. Right, so I think we're going to do one or two more at the top of here. Like that. Probably one more, to be fair. Right, reverse this thing like that. Drop it down. And that should do it for the headland. So <laughs> those are the smallest swaths I've ever seen, I think. I'm going to hit the corn stop. It'd be a bit awkward if we get some corn shaft in this officer. Right, there we go. Drop that down like this. We're never ever going to be able to make it underneath this tree. No way are we going to make it underneath this tree. Right, let's go around it then. Oh no, we're stuck on it. Come on, nowhere near the tree. Have to go around like that. There's loads of trees here. We might have to cut them down. I think what I'm going to do actually is cut some of these trees down. The ones that are in between the fields. They're a little bit too overlappy for my liking. I missed that one. Good. Look at these dials. They actually work. Like, I thought this was going to be like one of those dodgy mods when I first saw it. Because the textures aren't that great. They're a bit FS13. But whoever did it, it's got all the dials working and everything. Look at that. So I put my foot off that. It stops. We've got the RPMs. I'm assuming. But what is that? Let me have a look a minute. Okay, this one we've got speed and RPM, possibly. I don't think any of the bottom ones work, which is a shame. It'd be interesting if they did. I'm trying to look where the fuel one is. Okay, yeah, the bottom ones don't work. Because it's saying we've got no fuel when they actually we got a full tank. So yeah, unfortunately those ones don't work. It would be interesting if they did. Right, so we're probably going to be our final pass here now. Like so. So that... It brings us to the end of this video so thank you very very much for watching if you did enjoy please tap that thumbs up button it really does mean a lot don't forget in the next episode we'll be doing some grass work so make sure you stay tuned for that see how they uh, do it in poland i need to research first because i don't want to embarrass myself um, but yeah thank you very much for watching i've been simulate gaming and i'll see you in the next one